So today I want to show you guys a cheap way to test the expansion of your bullets. Ballistic scale is cool and all, but it's expensive. It's going to cost you about 150 to 200 bucks for a whole block of ballistic gel. I think it's like for a 12 or 16 inch long block. Yeah, ballistic gel is going to show you how deep you can penetrate soft tissue. But if you're just looking to see how your rounds are going to react when they hit a medium, there's a cheaper way to do that. We have a 50 pound bag of sand. We've got some one gallon Ziploc bags. And we've got some America duct tape. So we got our sand in our Ziploc bags. Made about one, two, three, four, five. With a little one to spare. Put duct tape on the top to seal the tops so they don't blow off when you shoot them. For the sand, the duct tape, and the bags, you're looking at under 20 bucks. Much cheaper than ballistics gel. Now this is a much thicker medium than ballistics gel. So your round may break up. It may not expand like it's supposed to, but it's still going to show you whether it's going to expand or not. Yes, ballistic gel is way more accurate and a much better test medium. But this is just something cheap if you want to have some fun and see if your uh, ammo is going to expand like it should. This is a much cheaper way to go. So we're going to shoot these with some various rounds. We'll shoot into the center of the bags. We'll find which bag it's stopped in. Retrieve our round. See how it expanded and then we'll patch it up with some more duct tape and keep shooting. We're going to start out with a CCI 22 long rifle 36 grain hollow point. Then we're going to use a 110 grain Hornady 38 special plus P with the little rubber tip there. Then we're going to shoot a Ranger 165 grain 40 Smith & Wesson made by Winchester. Then we're going to shoot a Hornady 10 millimeter 180 grain hollow point. Then we're going to shoot a Fusion 44 mag 240 grain hollow point. And then last but not least we're going to use a 300 grain Hornady 454 Casul hollow point. Alright let's start with the 22. I normally wouldn't dump a whole bag just to find one round but that 22 is really small. So there's the 22. Thirty-eight special plus P. Thirty-eight special plus P only went in one bag. Forty Smith and Wesson. The forty went through one bag, stopped in the second. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter stayed in this first bag. Forty four Magnum. Forty four Magnum stayed in the first bag. All that energy went into that sand. Four fifty four Casul. Alright, the 454 went through one bag and I found it in the second one. Here's all our bullets. There's your 22 long rifle. 38 special plus P. There's that little red tip. There's your 40 Smith & Wesson. 10 millimeter. 44 Magnum and 454 Casul. This 40 would probably react different ballistics gel. I don't know. Sand's not the best medium for testing your ballistics. It's just something for fun and something cheap. Oh well. Thanks for checking out the video this week, guys. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this every week, please subscribe to our channel. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
This is Kentucky Ballistics, and we'll see you next week.